Are you a content creator? Do you have a YouTube channel? Want to monetize, promote, and protect your channel from intellectual property theft? At a forever, we will monetize, optimize, and protect your channel, helping you earn better. We also offer you professional content management support guidance. Join our network today and enjoy our premium benefits. Contact us at mcnataforever.com. I'm not here to waste your time and I don't want mine to be wasted either. Make sure you pass this message once you get home. Your tax is what brought me here and I entreat you all to comply for your sakes. I'm a princess, I have nothing to do. Meaning what? Meaning I pay my tax to the king. How dare you! What is going on? You will not pay. Seize him. Huh? He has sealed his fate. Move! 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 You have to hurry up, let's go home. The sun is already here. Okay. Let me just cut some vegetables. Papa, all the tree is not working. And how do you know I'm not working? Papa, I don't mind her. But she's not working. Do not mind your business. Enough. Okay, chief. But it's clear you are not working. What is it? I'm having a stomach cake. Your stomach? You see? I told you to go easy on the mangoes, but you won't listen. Now look at it, your tummy is hurting. Sorry. I will squeeze Onubu water and give to you. But my guinea too. Okay, I will. Uh, you, it's okay, go and sit with your sister. Your father and I will finish the remaining work. Oh, Guinea, what is it? Enough! Enough! Ukeru! Enough of that rubbish. Ogeji is not your mate, so you have to respect her. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! Go there and sit. Sit there! Will you stop? If you want, eh? If you want, eh? You go and stack that in those cassavas there. Go! My princess, he just left in a hunt with you, Kenny. What did he do? The prisoner you came home with. None of your business. It is my business, you insolent child! When will you ever return to this palace with a prisoner on this mess? When? The day you will learn to mind your business is the very day water and oil will unite. I ask for my father, not your interference. You, set the prisoner free. I need to speak with him now. Do that and face your death. Be very careful how you challenge me in this palace. Be very careful. Go and call my father.
my lord. Whatever it is should wait at the palace. I'm on a hunting game and I don't need bad luck. It's the princess, my lord. She requests your presence. My, my princess? My, my precious? Why are you not eating? I thought the stomach ache has stopped. I don't want to eat with Inkyo. I want to eat alone. Will you stop this madness now? Why don't you want to eat with your sister? For what? I'm not hungry. Now, Maggie, if I slap you, you will behave yourself. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. Why don't you want to eat with your sister? I like eating alone. I hate sharing. But you know that's a bad idea. You have to stop. Okiru here is your only sister. Anything you cannot share with her, you can't share it with any other person. So you have to learn to live with her and do things together. Am I understood? You heard your father. From today onwards, you will eat together, you will bath together, you will wash your clothes together. In fact, you will do everything together. Oh, Mama. Eh? Yeah? That's fine now. Go. No, eat. Mama, I think I'm going to Share it. Eat it together. Yeah. Eat. Mm -hmm. You share it like that. Two of you share it. Okay, it. Tell me, tell me who is responsible for this sadness in your face and I will curse him or her. Father, I think you need to make an urgent announcement that from today hence we'll be collecting tax. Done. My husband, did you consider what you just said before agreeing to it? Mind your business. I wouldn't have you talk to me in that manner. Enough. What is your point? The villagers pay tax to you. Why make them pay twice? How do you expect them to cope with that? It's unfair. It's really unfair. <laughs> well, life itself is unfair. And if anybody refuses to comply, death awaits him or her. Then be ready to live with just grasses and animals. Because if you look around, you will realize our people are dying of hunger daily. You have to reconsider this while there's still time. Are you certain of this woman being my mother? Because she doesn't behave like one. I mean, a woman who can't support her daughter is not a mother. Likewise, a woman who can't support her husband is an unworthy wife. Fret not your breath, my precious. You can go ahead and do whatever you like. I, your father, will always be here to support you. And I am sorry for not telling you about my own thing. I'm coming with you tomorrow. Done.
What are you doing here? I come in peace. Leave my house now. You can I said get out! Can you please? Out! Hey, 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 hey! Hey! just let him Stay out of this! Stay out of this! I want you before. I don't want you again. Stay out of this! What is this crime? Your Majesty, he was caught stealing from the palace bar. Stealing? Is that true? Yes, my queen. Yes, I'm sorry. My wife has just been delivered of twins. And we have no food in the house. Don't you have a farm? I used to before the king confiscated it from me. Right now, my family is starving. But I'm willing to beg for food than to steal again, if I'm forgiven. <laughs> hmm. You spoke the truth. And for that, I will spare you. Oh, thank you, my queen. Thank you for sparing my life. I promise never to steal again. Thank you. My princess, you called. My queen, the princess ordered. You? Is that true? Oh, yes, and that is how justice is served to the guilty. No one steals from the palace and lives to tell a story. And that is a message I just helped my weak mother send to our people. <laughs> They went to the school. This harvest is really not that bountiful, considering the sizes of cassava we have here. Just so tiny. Yes, yes, our greedy king. We will not stop rooting for what he did not sow. Just to see. He wants to see us go hungry. The man is just, just wicked. And talking about the king. Why have you decided to shut your brother out of your life completely? I thought time would have changed all of that. Nothing heals a halt's pride. My father in his lifetime served Igwe Utodo with all his life. And what did he get in return? Betrayal and death. My father faced the same, and you know it. Yes, of course I do. So tell me, how many reasonable persons would decide to serve the same man that killed his father? He lied to my brother that my father died a hero while defended his people. But I know the truth. I know. I know he was betrayed and murdered. And my brother in his foolishness believed and, and, and chose to serve at the palace. Listen, as far as I'm concerned, he is not my brother because no brother of mine will dine with the same man that killed our father. I agree with you, Obi. But he might have his reasons. What stupid reason could he possibly have? How would you know when you have not given him a chance to speak? I don't need him in my life. I don't need him around us. He should remember the king and not here. He should not come here. He's your only brother. Don't you want me here?
everything is alright. Then why didn't you join me? Is it not your disrespectful daughter? You don't call her names. She's my precious. Precious indeed. That is how you have spoiled her and turned her against me. She no longer has respect for me. You. You are the one who turned her against yourself with your uncanny attitude. You no longer see anything good in her method. You don't expect me to support evil. But just this afternoon, a man was brought here for stealing. And I wanted to show him mercy. But your precious daughter ordered the head guards to kill him. <laughs> That's my daughter. <laughs> Discipline is her watchword. Ah, and that is why I like her. Ah, don't give me a leave to prove you a traitor. Because it is only a traitor that tempers justice with mercy in this palace. I knew it. I knew you would support her. You don't see anything wrong in her ways. But be ready. Oh, be ready to play host to the lizards when they come. For the ant infested fire, would you, you bring it? Shut up! Shut up and go and get me my food. Go! Rubbish. What is, what is wrong with this woman? Oh, I see my errors. I see my errors in marrying you from your richard parents. I should have gone for a royal blood. One who understands what authority is and what needs to be done. You, what are you looking at? Get out of this place! Rubbish. <laughs> the princess of Obudulan is here. You are my lead. Nobody. Ekene. How dare you? Fetch her water. She was just lazing about. You lie. I was trying to fetch my water before the princess came. You, you're the lazy one here. I'm going to slap her. Now. Try. But you would you stop that nonsense? Ah. What is wrong with two of you? I didn't send you the, to the stream to go and quarry. I sent you to go and fetch water. And why did you come with an empty pot? Mama, the princess came. And everybody had to leave the stream. Mama, Inky nearly got herself into trouble when she hesitated to leave the stream. You see? You're a terrible liar. We left the stream together. So tell the truth for once. I'm seriously going to be tough. Try. Stop that nonsense. What is wrong with two of you? Stop it right now. Ha -ha. Why will you stop this madness? Quarreling, quarreling all the time. Are you not tired? Ogechi, Nkiru is your younger sister. Why not try and make peace with her? Instead of quarreling all the time. I don't like this so I don't like it. And your father is not happy about this. And you know it. 
So stop it. Stop quarreling. Nkiru, now apologize to your other sister for insulting her. But mama, I didn't insult her. Do it now. I'm sorry. Come back here. Come and put it. Turn, turn the water. Baby, she gave me a basket. But mama, I'm using it. Share the same basket with your sister. So what happens to my own? Obechi, I said let me have your basket. Can't you obey mama? Who called you into this? Am I your mate though? So you better shut mind up. your- Shut up and do as I say. Give me the basket. Share with your sister. My princess, I don't know them. And it's obvious they're not from this kingdom. Oh, they're not from this kingdom. So you're fighting in my kingdom. In fact, Ekene, I want them to fight. Let me be entertained. Now fight. I said fight. You know, nothing is free in this life. And you must fight to live until the next day. You may go home now and offer gifts to your chief. Thank you, Oh, uh, Obum, what gift do you think a king can give to his daughter on her eleventh birthday? Uh, uh, a horse, my highness. Horse, your highness, if, if you ask me. Obum. She already has a horse, so don't be stupid. Uh, okay, um, 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 a, a cat. Oh, is your brain dead? Yes, uh, uh, yeah, no, thank, thank you, Highness. Uh, uh, mm, maybe get her a uh, new clothes. <laughs> you are correct. Uh, my daughter loves new clothes and beads. I, I think I will get her that at once. Uh, Your Highness, I have not eaten anything since morning. You, you cannot send me on a, on an errand now. I had no intention of sending you on an errand, but now that you have mentioned it, you will go at once and get those clothes and beat for my daughter. Yeah, your, your Highness, uh, uh, <laughs> Cats! Yes, 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 yes. Leave us. Please, please don't kill me, I beg of you. Please. Shut up! Thank the gods that I sneaked you out of that palace. The princess would have ordered for your head. But you are lucky. Does it mean you will let me go? Exactly what I'm going to do now. But you don't have to step your feet on this land again. I promise you, you will not see me anywhere close to this village. I promise you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Now, God bless you. You, you are indeed a good man working under the leadership of, of a beast for a king. Thank you so much. Leave. May the gods bless you. Run for your life. Thank you. Run. Thank you. Brother. 
Ekele, you will soon get that which you seek by the time this machet makes a quick entrance into your belly. Can you calm down? Jidenna, can you just calm down for once? Has the cursed child of her parents sent you to come and collect tax from me? Go back to the palace and tell them I said it will be over my dead body will I pay tax to both the father and his little wicked daughter, Mamea Jidenna. Your stubbornness will get you killed one day. And I wonder how your little girls will fare without their father. I wonder. Do not bother yourself about me, but yourself, Ekene. Brother, what do you want? Brother, this is me trying to reach out to you. Hear me out, please. I understand you don't support me working for the king. But you have to believe me on this one. I know what I am doing. I know what I'm you doing. You don't know what you're doing, Egene. You don't know nothing. I know that our late father will be very, very angry in his grave for the demented son he gave birth to. A son who would rather work for the man that killed his father instead of taking revenge. Revenge, you said. Revenge is not easy on a kind of man like Igwe Idodo. It's not easy. I have told you again, I do not wish to set my eyes on you again. If you have not come here to collect tax, I suggest you go back to the palace. Allow me return to work. Jidenna, it will interest you to know that I'm so much aware that Igwe Odo killed our father. Yet, yet again, you chose to dine with our enemy. You chose to dine with the same man that killed your father. Voice, bring down your voice. What a disgrace you are. Go and never show your face around me again. Go back to the palace, again. I do not wish to see you again. These for? They are for you, my precious princess. Happy birthday. Oh, it's <laughs> my birthday. How oh, did I forget that? Paja, thank you so much. Happy birthday to you, the future queen of Obudu Kingdom. Happy birthday, my daughter. Happy birthday. And today, you are 11. <laughs> uh, and you are getting old, I must tell you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what smart, ruthless, intelligent and disciplined princess you are growing to become. I am proud of you. Proud of you too, Father. Mm. <laughs> ah, I think it is about to rain. <sighs> oh, no, I hate rain. Let it not spoil my day. Ah. Do not worry yourself. I will just call the rainmaker to stop the rain so that my daughter can enjoy her day. And I've also instructed the guard to uh, kill the fattest cow so that today will be full of merriment. <laughs> <laughs> the rain. It reminds me of the day I was delivered of you. The rain. My husband, it rained that day, remember? Oh, really? Now, history is repeating itself. You see, my daughter, I was not around the day you were born. I was having some issues with the chief priest. 
issues, what issues were you having? Is that really me telling her? I did that. She must. She must. She, she has to go. I mean, we can't keep hiding it from her forever. What did you get from me, father? You see, the day you were born, the chief priest brought news, rather bad news. He said that you are an evil child and must be thrown into the living forest. But I couldn't bring myself to doing that, so we made lots of sacrifices to the gods and we kept it from our people. You mean the chief priest almost sent me to an early grave? Father, I need his head on a platter now. My daughter, it is he is just doing his job. So he's serving the gods. Huh? Father, I need his head now. You can't possibly agree to that demented request. Come here. Who ordered the head of our chief priest? Who? Is that why you dragged me to this place? You have to realize that I'm the king's aide. I mean, second in command. Would you tell me what I asked you before I strangle you? Uh, uh, the princess, of course. And she, she requested that the father granted. This is insane. Do you realize how insane this is? Do you? Obam, you could have done something to stop that. Eh? What could I have done if not to support the king's decision? Oh, do you want this head to lose this body? This is insane. Our people are not going to take it lightly with the king. Princess. <laughs> this is the height of abomination. You better re reduce your voice. Ophia Mwerinti, I don't want your head to be used as a boost to this palace. Take the last piece of yam. Now drop it. Drop what? I picked it before you. I'm your senior, so I deserve the last piece of yam. Now drop it. I got it, so I'm gonna eat it. Try it. You did it. Are you happy now? Are you? I should have snuffed life out of you the moment he made that prophecy. You can go ahead and ask your maidens, ask your maid to prepare Ngwongwo for you with his head. Ask them! I promise you, if you don't stop your evil ways, you will regret it. I will not curse you. I will not. But the innocent blood you spill daily will rise up and haunt you. You've done this to your father's will. Continue. Adese, Adese, Uwabu Soma. Oya, Amarita Uwa. Oyo, Oyo, Mama. Ah, 
Sonka. I was rushing to your house to see you. Anu Enegunogurai. What happened? Ichonka. Our evil king and the daughter have done it again. This time around, they have hurt the gods personally. I don't understand. What did they do? Our chief priest is dead. Yes. Wait. I, I, are you serious? Listen. I was told that the evil daughter, that evil princess, requested his head. And the father gave it to her immediately. We need to go to the palace and tell the king that enough is enough because he has failed woefully on the reason he was placed there as the king of this great kingdom. So he had to step down. <laughs> Let me understand you. You're trying to tell me to join you to the palace. Yes. And tell the king to step down from the throne. Huh? Listen, Ichomoka, all we need to do is to organize the other elders. Because we will not fold our arms and watch our kingdom being destroyed by one man. Um, you know, I I love this kingdom of Obudu. Of course, it is my ancestral home. That I know. And I am youngest in the cabinet of the years of this kingdom. So I love this kingdom even more than you do. Yes. So. And in case you have not heard, my wife just got delivered of a bouncing baby boy. And I have to take care of her, the child, and of course my other children. And I would not do that as a dead man. This thing you are asking me to join you in doing is suicidal. And next time you are thinking of embarking on a suicidal mission, I will advise you not to come to me. But, of course, as you said, you can gather the other elders. Gather them. Walk into the palace. Open your mouth and tell the king face to face to step down. Hmm? I will be in my house. But please, don't come to me for such a thing as this again. Ichonga, you just told me now that you love our kingdom better than I do. Now you are walking out. You are a chicken-hearted human being. That the head of our chief priest. As I'm talking to you right now, our chief priest is dead. What? Yes. What reason does he have to kill the only man who commins with the gods on our behalf? Everybody was shocked to receive the news. I thought you heard as well. No! I was at the farm when that stupid brother of mine came to me. I should have known not to respond to that beast who has soiled his hand with the blood of our chief priest. He came to the farm to meet you. Yes. You know what? Hmm. It is the ghost I blame. Yes! I blame the ghost for allowing that evil called Igwe Itodo to ride with his daughter. I blame them for being so quiet and allowing us to perish. Hey, you put your voice down. You remember your class, you know. I don't care. I do not care any longer. Look at what a male mother is doing to their subjects. Leave me alone. And they're quiet. The girls are fools. The girls are fools. You know what? 
the gods have lost it in this kingdom and I regret placing my faith in them. So woman, what brings you to my palace? Or have you come to pay your task personally to me? No, your highness. Then what do you want? I've come to beg for food, my king. My children and I have had nothing to eat for two days now. And it's terrible. Please help you us. Shut up. How dare you? How dare you come into my palace and make such demands? Are you, are you sick? Imagine the audacity. I'm so sorry, my king. I'm sorry. So where is your lazy husband that he cannot provide for his family? Where is he? I have no husband of mine anymore, my king. Oh, what happened? Did you get separated? No, your highness. You killed him. You murdered my husband, my king. And I have no help but since then. <clears throat> Ibe. <laughs> Se na ndi banyi se ni gbara ajo ma na nku gina zu se na fu gina zu ne ke no ri na nku na yi ga mo no no mo no no e ma na obi ya mu ne me ka mu ne ku no ku na na mo mo tra mu we po mo ja di ke we se mo na mu ga ma la gin bem na mu ge tiri gin ku mu ge ku ro ku opa de fi oku igbe ka mu ne ku opa di gwi to do ka mu ne tu aha nu ne ku no ga de le ge ma mu na giga ku no no Uh, 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 good morning. Where are you coming back from? Uh, uh, good morning. Uh, uh, good night, my people. Uh, uh, I said, where are you coming back from? I, 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 uh, uh, the, the king. Well, now shut up your mouth. Or stop lying. Uh, good night, uh -huh. Have you forgotten that I know the time the king discharged you from duty daily? No, we, we are having council meetings upon council meetings. And upon council meetings, yeah. up, up, um, yeah. eh? you left me so cold. Your wife, up, um, you have been shying away from your duty as a husband. And it's becoming so obvious. Up, um, uh, up, um, he is the king and he, 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 he does not even... He, he... Shut up your mouth! Shut up! Shut up. I am talking. And you are talking too. Abunde, are you mad? Now get inside. Yeah? Get inside! Uh, uh, please. Can we do this in tomorrow morning? I'll work my face. Why are you seated here all alone, under this cold and unfriendly weather? What is it? Nothing. Nothing and you are moody? I'm worried about the future of our daughters. There is no love existing between them. It's given me great concern. My love, can we talk about this inside, please? Ubim, a man whose house is on fire does not chase rats. Please. 
This is hatred between them is going worse by the day. Let's do something to stop them. They are still kids and yet to understand what life is all about. I am not saying that I'm happy, don't get me wrong. I'm not happy with the way they behave, but I will talk to them. Please, you have to talk to them, Jidena. This, the same hatred that exists between you and your brother is what I see in our children. Leave my brother out of this. I do not wish to discuss him. I will talk to the girls. Let's go inside. You so long. You have started again, Abu Neme. No, now there were many people at the stream. In fact, it's like they finished up all the water at the house last night. So this morning they filled up the stream. If I any road, you have planned every good remit. Abu Neme, you have the guts to lie to me. You know, I say the truth all the time. Huh? Even when my body is shaking, I say the truth. Abu Nene, you are still lying. Abu Nene, you are still lying. I was, I was, I was still lying. Abu Nene, no. you have grown wings in this house that you no longer perform your money duties. You no longer perform your money duties, Abu Nene. You know, you know my position at the King's Palace. I say you are shocking me like this every day. I wonder the kind of thing that would make a weakling like you his head. Huh? You see, I do not that thing, Jimma. Hmm? Do you want to live your life? Yeah? For the sake of my son, I cannot not be him. Abu, Abu Neme, did you just tell me I cannot not be him? Eh? Abu Neme, Abu Neme, I cannot not be Yes, I cannot open. Abu Neme, you will not go to work on time today. Let me see what that stupid thing will do. Let me help you. Let you. Let me you. Like the morning sun, she glitters. My precious, my pride, my beautiful, precious princess. How was your night? Is there a problem? What is bothering you? 
I need to take control, Father. Uh, I don't understand. I need to rule our people and I need to sit on your throne. Uh, I, uh, my precious, I am your father and I'm still alive. Hmm? I know, but I need to take over. Calm down, my precious. Hmm? Calm down. Time will make everything all right. Okay? Your time is coming, and I want you to do better than I did. But for you to do that, you need to watch and learn how I lead. I don't need further lectures on what it takes to be a good leader. Oh, yes, you do. You see, my precious, there are so many things about our customs and tradition that you are not aware of. You see that throne? It is not just the net here. It takes a great deal of courage, strength and wisdom to sit on it. I admire your courage and I have no doubt that you will make a fine queen one day. But that is only when I am gone. Hmm? Well, just wait and hope I don't get bored along the line. Uh, have you seen my aid this morning? Hmm. Don't shoot. Don't shoot. I am only son and I have an only son. Please don't put the trigger. Shut up. Mm. Shut up. <coughs> Honey, shut up. You blind. Mm. Mm. My yari by the king. Met God forbid. This will be your highness. Abuneme, you have started again. Look at the time you are coming to work. It was trapped. A mother character and a nozzle. After the other, do you know it, it had to follow shortcut to come to this palace? Now. And do you know how fast I walk? Will you shut up? Yeah. Let this be the last time you will come this late. Sorry, my You say that one more time, and I will have your head parted from your neck. Greetings, my king. I did not summon the elders to my palace. What are you doing here? I came on my own accord to remind you that a man who dares his chief is one with death. And pretty soon, vultures will gather in its behalf. How dare you? Caution. Caution, Igwe Itoyo. You have just killed the holy mouthpiece of the gods. And you think that God will play dumb to that unjust mother? Our people are not happy with you. And the elders are asking you to step down from this throne. Mazinduka, hey, quiet. Obum, let me talk to the, to the king. You have just earned yourself death. God! Your Highness. Take this man and stone him to death. Yes, Your Highness. I am not afraid of what you are going to do to this body. But my soul remains mine to keep untainted from the cause you 
you are bringing to yourself and your generation unborn. Leave. Hey! Imagine that nonsense, so. Such audacity. Hey! What a wasted grey hell. You hurry up. You hurry up. Do not mind your business. You hurry up. Mind your business. You mind where you talk to me. I'm your older sister, not the older sister. Going on here. I don't need your complaints. I just need you to keep fighting. Don't waste my time. Forgive us, my princess. She started the fight. I need to be entertained, so go on. But my, my princess, we, we, we have to keep going, please. No, let me see them fight first. And hey, I want you to fight dirty. My, my princess, this place is not safe. Anything can happen. Please, we have to keep moving. Oh, I can hear you are such a cute joy. But it's all right. I guess today's your lucky day. But you still have to keep fighting till I'm gone. Now fight! Fight! I said fight! think you going back to your parents is the right thing to do. I'm tired. I'm frustrated, good year. Look, this marriage is not working for me. I've lost my husband. I've lost my only daughter. It's obvious she came from the same world as her father. They now see me as an unwanted person in the palace simply because I don't share in their wickedness. I really understand, my queen. But returning to your parents now will show a sign of weakness on your part, which is not good for you, my queen. Yes. But what do I do? What do I do? They no longer listen to me. My daughter derives joy at hurting people. And my husband is worse than a tyrant. Honey, neighbor, oh, huh? just, just, just don't go back to, the, to your parents, okay? Remain in the palace. So the situation, you can fix it. Just keep working on this righteous path, and everything will be fine. This is just your cross, bear it. Don't think about the insults. Don't think about the weakness. This just... is this is really too much. This is too much. <laughs> My own portion. I will leave you here till you finish. Don't leave me here, Mama. We'll go home together. Then walk. People can walk. Eh? Don't be like your father. And mom, walk. We don't go back that and borrow so that you can be useful to yourself and your wife tomorrow. Eh? You have seen how disorganized your father's life is. But he walks to the end. Eh? As what? As what, no, no. Eh? The king only took compassion on him and decided to make him his dog. Better still, his cats. Eh? So that he would be gossiping and supporting his evil ways. That's all. Eh? I wonder why he didn't get the mayor mancha mancha. Are you listening to me, Buka? Then walk. Oh, you boss, you boss, walk. Oh, 
What happened? They forced themselves until they collapsed. What? The cabal is just left here now after treating their wounds and giving them medicine. Who gets here the kill who wants to kill each other? The police. Will you shut up? Shut up! I am so disappointed in you. So disappointed. Just keep quiet. Keep quiet. No, no, don't annoy me for that. I beg you, girls. I pleaded with you to, to, to make peace with each other. But you choose to make me childless. You choose to make me childless with your irreconcilable differences. Every now and then you are quarreling. Now the whole villagers know you people as stubborn children who fight and quarrel all the time. Even though your family is from a peaceful home. Just don't talk to me, don't don't talk to me. Just keep quiet and allow your wounds to heal. Don't worry, don't worry. Every time you go and go and leave. Oh, 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 So this your madness has degenerated in you having an affair in the palace. What do you mean? I should go into the bushes. I am the king here. You should live a modest life as a role model. Look what you found this palace into. Are you not the cause? Are you not? For some days now, you have refused to lie with me. You are angry over what I do not understand. I have to look for other means of making myself happy. Making yourself happy? Mm. So, you derive happiness. Cheating on your wife. Oh, will you <laughs> stop shouting at me? I am the king. I do whatever pleases me. And if you are fed up, go inside. Pack your things and leave. Did you just say this to me? Oh, yes. If you're fed up, leave. I am your wife, the mother of your daughter. Then act like one. But until then, don't you ever disrupt my merriment. Ever. Kiro, get a broomstick from the one you're holding. Ogechi, get a broomstick from the one you're holding. Break it. Easy it is, right? Yes, Father. Go and get that bunch over there.
break it. It's difficult, Father. You can just try a bit harder. Break it. Papa, it's impossible. I was expecting that response. Let me help it. <clears throat> How easy it was for you to break a broomstick, but difficult breaking a bunch. As long as you remain separated, the enemy will easily destroy you. But if you stick together, you will overcome any situation of life and you will become indestructible. Are you listening to me? Yes, Father. Now, apologize to each other. Sorry, okay. I'm sorry. I'm okay. I did not hear you. Apologize to each other. No, your kitchen. Sorry, thank you. Oh, my, my princess, that is ridiculous. I, I mean, it is not possible. Meaning you're not going to do it. My precious, how can you ask the king, your father, to step down from the throne for you? Eh? It's just for a day. I need to see and experience what leadership is all about. I think it's all I ask. I mean, we have talked about this thing and I told you to wait until it's your time. You, you are still young and have no formal knowledge of uh, how our kingdom works and every... Which is why I ask for a day. I mean, it's part of my training and preparation of ascending the throne one day. Uh, I, I am sorry, I, I cannot oblige to that request. Like that will be all, Father. Uh, my, my precious, it's, I didn't mean to have, You should have helped me talk to her. Her request is insane, right? Uh, yes, it's quite insane. And did you notice the disrespectful way she walked out on you? That is just to show how you have failed to give her a proper training as a father. You just like talking out of point. Is that supposed to be the answer to my question? It's not that I cannot beat her. Bum. But you know the consequences of beating a woman in this kingdom. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna run. So that is why you will allow her to become a nightmare to you. Remember your position at the palace. And that is why I don't want to mess up. I don't want her to come between my relationship and the king. Just hear yourself. The Igwe will not be happy to hear that a woman is molesting his aid. Hmm? It's time to act. To, you have to put a stop to it. I'm worried. I have my plans. I have my intentions. You don't know my intentions at the palace. Intention? I have plans. Okay, my honey. What is your plan? I will tell you. <laughs> okay, um, don't have any plan. Go and see that. Mm -hmm. You have no plan at the palace. I have my plan. I know my plan. You don't have any plan. Go and sit down. You have a plan. Your wife is fitting you every day. You have a plan. I have a plan. Mm. Where is your mother? And what are you doing? Is this what I asked you to be doing? Have I not told you to be going to the palace and be playing with the princess? Mama told me not to go. Meaning what? Did I not tell her the reason of sending you to the palace? Now, hurry to the palace and play with the princess because Aunt George is bored to tell her. Ubi, mm -hmm. I had a terrible dream about this kingdom last night. 
I don't think things will ever get better here. Yes, okay. I could agree with you on that. Things are really getting out of hand here. I'm suggesting we leave this land. Maybe go to my village or any of our neighboring villages. Okay. How could you suggest that thing like that? I can't run away from my fatherland. Obimbo, things are hard here. Do you know how we managed to feed in this house? I know. I strongly believe things will get better someday. Maybe when the right leader ascends the throne. And who is the right leader? Is it Igwe Itodo and his evil daughter? Who is that savior you're hoping on? I don't know yet. But I know the solution to our problem does not lie on we living this kingdom. It is only a coward that runs away from his fatherland. So you are saying we should... Papa, Mama, we've come to apologize. We've not been good children towards you with our attitudes. We're sorry, we truly are. Please forgive us. We promise to turn a new leaf on today's hands for you know Papa loves you, right? <laughs> she will be with you soon. Greetings, my princess. What are you doing here? I've come to play with you, my princess. I'm not in the mood. I have stories to tell you. I said I'm not in the mood! Get out of here! The next time you summon me for this, I'll ask for your head. Am I understood? Yes, Your Majesty. Silence of the gods shouldn't be seen as foolery. Your threats shouldn't be taken as mere cannon of a coward. The anger is like the rain that pours heavily on the wicked. Mm. Storms gathered, my queen. The rain that would drench an iron will visit your household. But I will sweep up everything, every living thing, for they have angered the gods. And they will strike with no mercy. Mm. I of the gods, Biko, I have come on behalf of my entire family to seek solution. Please, I come to Guanocha. Yes, my queen. Your hands are clean, but that of your husband and child is soiled with innocent blood. I know. I know. Which is why I have come for you to help me. Take away the curse they obviously have attracted upon themselves. Please. Sacrifices. Sacrifices are needed to appease the gods. For they are so ready to visit your household with nemesis. I have a gods. I will do whatever it takes. Everything that is required of me on their behalf. Please, just give my husband and child time to mend their evil ways. Pico, please. My princess. My precious. Please come out. Let's talk this thing over. Go away. I don't want to see you. You know I will never refuse any of your requests. But this one is an impossible one. You are the king and your word is authority. Which means nothing is impossible for you. What would the people say? They will make jest of me. And I have my council of elders there. They will object to it. Not when you give the order. You are not known as a weakling. 
So why has your feet turned jelly? Why? But my precious, you know the law of... You said you loved me. Now is the time to show it. Grant this request of mine as a sign of your love and respect for me. I will call the Council of Elders and see what I can do about it. You see this smile on your face? I will give anything just to have, just to see it. You are my everything. You are the only thing I have in this world. And I will never refuse you anything. I can't wait for you to ascend the throne and start a certain authority. <laughs> <laughs> My precious, come. <laughs> you shouldn't have asked him not to go since you know that I'm the one that asked him to go there. Abumneme, do not involve my son in whatever game you are playing to the palace. Be cool. Why are you sounding like this? Have I not told you my intention of preparing Chukwe Maker for the princess as your future husband? Now, tell me how princess is going to consider him when she comes of age to get married, if not by relating with her now from childhood. Hmm? And what makes you think the princess will choose our son? When he is not royalty, eh? Or have you forgotten where the princess will take a, a pick a man from? I I work with the king as his aide. Mm. And you think that makes you royalty? Hey, Abum Neme, you are nothing but the king's dog. Better still, his cat. You are nothing. I know, and I'm trying to be somebody by presenting my son before the princess. So you? be the wise woman you claim to be. Hmm? Obum Neme, leave my son alone. Obum Neme, leave my son alone. Oh. You dream too much. You dream too much. That is why you wake up every morning with urine on our bed. Eh? What? Well, the princess sent me away. She just is not in the mood. I said it! Abum Neme, leave my son alone. Abum Neme, hey! Uh, maybe the princess is not in the right mood, just as she said. Huh? Odo, Odo. Hey, did you, did you tell her the stories I told you? Papa, I did not get the chance. Even half of the story. Uh, yes? The king requests your presence at the palace. Immediately. Papa. Elders of Ubudu Kingdom, it is with great joy that I present to you your new king. 
till the next sunrise she will be overseeing the affairs of this kingdom and she is at liberty to punish anybody who she deems scapegoat so i urge you father is enough sit down please yes um father thank you for honoring me with this privilege of serving our people mm. but before i continue i would like the elders to be on their knees eh? okay. i believe you heard me are you out of your mind? What is wrong with you, Muka? Take this woman away. She's interfering in my business. You heard her. She's in charge, so leave. And what are you all waiting for? On your knees. Kneel down. Your Highness. Hello, Melo. Come over here. Lie down. She is talking to you. Yes, my princess. Um, my get, my your highness. I will not say it again. Lie down. I have a declaration to make. I've observed the number of unmarried girls in this village is on increase. So, I have a decree to make. The men that are of age to get married should get married to four wives. And those of you that are already married should increase the number to four. Ah, uh -huh. Anakwana Put your head. Right up, I said clap. Uh -huh. This is a positive way to reduce the number of unmarried girls and unwanted pregnancy in this kingdom. Mm -hmm. And furthermore, I will inform the town crier to tell the villagers that. 50% of farm produce will be brought to the palace. But we pay tax to you and the king, and we barely have enough to feed our families. Seize him. There is only one king here, and he did acknowledge that, which makes him a rebel. And he has just earned himself a capital punishment. Take him away! I'll remind you. Get up! Get up! Allow me to speak! Allow me! He told you! You want to kill me because I speak the truth! I vow to stand on the path of truth and nothing more! He told you! Concern your daughter! For the path she has chosen leads to destruction! Concern your daughter! You are a fool! No one challenges his chi to a battle and wins. The king's words is authority! And he decides to challenge it? Fool! Take him away! Go! Hello, my lord. So am I clear? She is asking a question. Yes. She, wants, she yes. wants to hear your voice. Yes, yes, your yes, highness. Yes. Your highness. Uh, yes. Yes. Good. Come, come on, let's go. Let's go. Don't kill me. I have a son like you. Stop me! Stop my peace! Keep moving! Don't kill me! I have a son like you! Don't kill me! Please! I have a son like you! Shut up! Follow me! Don't kill me, please! Don't kill me! Don't kill me! What have you come here to do? Chidenna, you have to help me now, please. Have I not warned you to stop coming to my house? Have I not? Will you just shut up? Stay away from me! Shut up and listen to me for once! Will you? A former has just been sentenced to death by the princess who is currently in charge of this kingdom for the next 24 hours. I was asked to kill him, but my conscience wouldn't let me do that. I brought him here so you help me save his life. Yes. Your brother is telling the truth.
What do you want from me, Gigele? Save his life. Save his life by smuggling him out of this kingdom. Jidena, this is me trying to prove to you that I'm on your side. I am not a murderer. I am not. I have to rush back to the palace now before they notice my absence. Former, good luck. Thank you, my son. Please, help me. Help me, please. What did you just say now? What I said is that the princess make a declaration that everybody in this village, whether you are married or you are unmarried, should take four wives in a stress. Abumeme, what type of joke is that? Are you mad? I, I am saying the truth though. Even the ghosts know that I, my content is very, very clear. Hey! Abumeme! Abumeme! So you want to leave me and get another wife? Is that what you are saying? I did not say so. It's the princess that said. Oh, you shut up your mouth! Shut up your mouth! Princess, my foot! Eh? Open them, are you mad? Hey! See how you, see how you are just assaulting me. Even though you know that I'm, I'm, I'm king's head. Shut and... up! You... Shut up! What's the big, what's the big, what's the big king's head? What's... Open them, man! Open them, man! Hey! Open them, man! Hey. Get inside. Eh? Go inside, Obuneme! See, I did not say that I want to take second wife. Yeah, I, I, I did not say to ask for it. And the only son of my father. Obuneme, I'll start don't... dealing with you today. Hey, hey, hey! Obuneme, get inside. Go to my other wife. Hey, I did not. I don't know. Hey! Obuneme, go to my other wife. Please, please. Obuneme, go to my other wife. You requested my presence. I was told you removed several stalks and many tubers of yam from the farm this morning. Is that true? Yes, it's true. What for? It was for something personal. I demand you answer me or I swear I will snuff out your life right now. It was used for sacrifice. What sacrifice demanded for such number of tubers of yarn and animals? It is a sacrifice for the cleansing of this household. I had to seek for protection. I do not want you and your daughter to die a sudden death from all the atrocities you're committing daily. What nonsense are you talking about? I, I do what is right as a king. Well, while you were doing that evil, which seemed right in your eyes, I was saving our lives. Because the gods were going to visit you with calamity. Hence the need for the sacrifice. I want you to go back to whoever that have defrauded you of my belongings. Tell him to hand over every single item he has collected from you. Else I will visit him with my own calamity. Are you listening to me? It's for our own good. I have spoken. 
go. Rubbish. Eh? <laughs> you mean your brother, Ekene, spared a man's life today? Yes. He said he was asked to kill him and he couldn't. Mm -hmm. Hey, see who has grown conscience. I'm so happy to hear this. This shows he's changing. Nothing Nekene will ever do to impress me as long as he continues to work for the same man that killed our father. Maybe he has a plan. Or maybe he, he just wanted to buy his way back into my life by proving to me that he has changed. Obin, you just don't like anything about your brother. He can actually change. You should believe it. Okay. Let's discuss something else, but not my brother. <laughs> I made sure the man left the village safe and sound. I know it was a risk, but it was worth it. I just wish this shedding of innocent blood will put to stop. I just wish. I wish so too. It's obvious you don't have a jot of respect or regards for me anymore. I don't blame you. I blame your father. I've come to make peace with you, mother. I'm sorry for the disrespectful way I've treated you. You are my mother and you can never be replaced. <laughs> You're joking. I'm for real. I'm sorry. You know, there is no much difference between us. Except for the fact that I like exerting authority. While are you, you really here for peace? Or you have come to remind me how I've lost you to a father who has succeeded in bringing out the monster in you. Oh, I'm sorry. I got carried away. I'm still but a child. No, I don't think so. Because your father has made us equal, which is why you challenge my authority the way you like. Mother, stop making this hard for me. Please! Stop bringing father into this, I beg of you. I need your forgiveness. Well, perhaps you should start by releasing the people you put in the pits. And also the man you ordered his execution yesterday. You mean that old man? I'm sorry, my princess. You sent for me. Yes, what of the man I sentenced to death yesterday? He's there, my princess. He's there as in he's alive? Yes, um, no. I executed him like you ordered. Oh no, I promised my mother I'll set him free. You shouldn't have killed him. I'm sorry, my princess. But I did exactly as you ordered. You can go. Come back. I need his head. At least it will serve as a proof to my mother that I couldn't save him on time. But my princess, I executed him since yesterday. And his body should still be there. So do as I've commanded. Yes, my princess. I may leave.
No, 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 don't, don't run. Don't run. Come. I am your uncle. Come on. Come. You don't have to be scared. I am your uncle. We I don't. Look at the palace. We don't know you. Help! So I said I am your uncle. I'm your father's brother. What do you want? Is your father around? No, he went out with my mother. If you're truly our uncle, what are you doing with a sword? Oh, this? <laughs> I'm only using it to protect myself. Yes. Only bad men protect themselves. You won't understand. You're only a child. Um, yeah, when your father comes back, tell him I checked on him. My name is Ekene. All right. Will you protect us if we're in danger? <sighs> with my life, I will do that. For you both are my family. Thank you. I'll have to go back to the palace now. Thank you. Please, you're going to put the whole community in calamity. Woman! Enough! Greetings, King Itodo. What brings you to my shrine? So you are the one that stole from the palace. Whatever your wife brought to the shrine was demanded by the gods and they are not mine. Will you shut up? Now I need you to go and bring those livestock and tubers of yam. Else, I will peel your skin from your body. You have no power against me. I am the chosen one of the gods. I serve them. And I'm telling you, if you do not stop your evil ways, the atrocities you commit, the vengeance of the gods will fall on you. <laughs> I am King Itodo, the first of Ubudu Kingdom. I have powers over everyone. Now, I need you to understand that this is my kingdom. Shut up. What you Shut up! You're making a big mistake! You're putting the whole community in a deep... Will you shut up! You deceived my gullible wife to come to my palace to steal for you. God! Burn this place down. Search for my livestock and bury this worm alive. Make no mistakes. I would still deal with you for doing this rubbish without telling me. Allow me! Just leave me alone! Let me let me go and dismember his head from his body! What rights does he have to be here? Tell me! But he didn't want the children when he came now. He was only looking for you. Looking for who? Looking for me? Have I not warned him to stop coming to my house? Have I not? Yes. But Papa, he said he's your brother. So why stop him from coming to the house? He will not understand. Your uncle is no good. I want you to stay away from him. Have I made myself clear? Papa, did it appear to be a bad person? Or is it because he's a god? No. Your uncle is evil. Are you listening to me? I want you to stay away from him. I don't want to see him close to you again. Do you understand? You have to let go of your anger. I'm sure whatever brought him here must be something serious. I think he's only trying to connect. Connect, you said? Connect? I can't connect with a murderer. Never! I can't! I think your voice down now. The children are here. They are listening. Who is a murderer? Papa, who is a murderer? What you ask of me is quite risky. Hope you know that. Yes, I know. And that is why I have chosen you for the job. Because I know you will not fail. And what if something goes wrong? Make sure nothing goes wrong. But if anything goes wrong, just kill yourself before I get to you. Thank you.
Ekene, it seems you have forgotten who I am. I am Buchi Anungangampi. Nothing will go wrong. I am good at what I do. So what are you willing to pay? Give me a reason. I should not strip you of your position as an aide in this palace. Ah, your Highness, be because I know you love and care about me like your son, my lord and my king. Is that why you should abandon your position and duties in this palace as an aide? I go out these days without you by my side. I mean, what use are you then? Ah, your Highness, I'm very, very useful. Oh. You remember the stories I used to tell you? Like right now, I have these wonderful stories. Let me start with once upon a time. Will you yeah. shut up before I have your head for lunch? My princess, are you okay? What happened? Father, my horse is gone. What? Canada was a crash display of incompetence. I mean, who would believe that someone came into this palace, stole a horse, and left without being caught? When I have multitude of guards and maidens, who would believe that? I am sorry, my lord. I'm sorry. You're sorry. You should be ashamed of yourself than apologizing. I mean, what is the use of having you as the chief guard if you're always away from your duty? Imagine an animal as a horse, stolen. Do you know how much I bought that horse? Do you? I yes, my lord. Three bags of cowries. Oh, you know. And you allowed it to be stolen. Oh, you have failed, Ekene. You have failed on the very essence why you are here in this palace. Please, my lord. Give me more time. I promise I must find whoever that stole that horse. I am sure that he or she is not far away from this kingdom yet. Please, I beg of more time. Ekene. Ekene, look at my precious princess. She is sad. She is angry all because her horse is stolen. And for that, Ekene, you will suffer. Yes, but first of all, I want that horse found by all means. Did you hear me? Else the people of Ubudu will feel my wrath. I need you to go and get me the town crier at once! Go! Yes, my lord. 
People of Obudu Kingdom, listen and listen very well. The princess horse is missing from the palace, and the king has given two days ultimatum for the missing horse to be found and returned back to the palace by whoever that stole it. Failure to do this will result to mass punishment. Save yourselves from the punishment and help the king find his daughter's horse and return it to her. Remember, I want to marry Anwar, a Buddhist, into a Soroya. Take this to the princess, rush to the palace and go and meet the princess. She was robbed and she's not happy. So, take this banana and go and meet, meet her and tell her stories. Do you remember the story I told you last night? Good. Rush, be the first person to console her. Remember, you people should be playing as kids. Okay. Oh, yeah. Bye. Of your business. Hmm. Hmm. What is hmm? You want me to slap you? You know You want me to slap you? Sorry. Hey. You mean he came here to kill a former? Yes. <clears throat> I told you nothing good can ever come from my brother. He has Aye. chosen darkness. He said he would have killed the man all in a bid, trying to protect us. We should keep him away from our children. And here I am thinking that he's turning a new leaf. Okay. I will even personally go to the king and tell him to warn his head guard to stop visiting my home. Else I will label him a thief or kidnapper. He's really going to be a bad influence on our daughters. Obim, you see why I say we should leave this land and go to any neighboring land and settle down there with our children. I mean, you really can't trust anybody here anymore. Everybody and everything is just going crazy and abnormal. This land is doomed for destruction. Okay. I still can't stop believing that things will definitely get better. Only when evil people like my brother have gotten rid of. I've given him my final warning as regards coming here. Unless death is knocking on his door. Let me see his feet here again. Biko, wait to be, eh? The mama. Don't do something that we will both regret. Biko. My concern now is just for the princess to find whoever stole from her so that the king will not punish us and our children for a crime we did not commit. My princess, where are you going? I'm going in search of my horse. But I have the whole village searching for it and I'm sure they will find it. I cannot just sit down and fold my arms. 
You know how precious that horse is to me. I just have to find it. But going out now is dangerous and you know it. Until the person who stole from the palace is found. I suggest we tread carefully. Huh? Ekene, the two guards and the maidings are with me. I'll just have to make a time, father. It's all right, my precious. I am proud of you. Hmm? Just be safe, okay? Greetings, Your Highness. Greetings, my princess. I heard what happened, and I have come with some bananas and some interesting stories. Hmm. Like father, like son. Well, I'm not interested in your bananas and your stories. Wait. Have I not warned you to stop coming here? Father, he's a suspect. Seize him! Seize him and take him prisoner. Yes, Your Highness. I'm being unsafe! I'm being unsafe! I need you to take care of my precious. Let the guards carry her when she gets tired. You know she doesn't like walking. I do not want her sad when she returns. Did you hear me? As your highness pleases. <laughs> You better pray not to get yourself into one with me because you will be dead by the time you realize it. No problem. Keep on threatening me. Very soon I will die and leave this house. Will for you shut you. up and allow me to talk? I just got word from the palace that our son has been taken prisoner by the king. <laughs> What is wrong with you? This is no joke. Our son is in the palace pit. Your so called princess sent him there. Huh? Impossible. The king cannot approve that. I told you that that princess is the wrong choice of friend for our son. I told you that you shouldn't involve my son. I told you, you shouldn't involve my son in whatever stupid game you are playing to the throne. I want you upon them, man. I want you. Ebiko, Ebiko, calm down. Calm down. Let me go to the palace and find out. <laughs> I still find it difficult to believe this you are saying. Eh? This must be a fake news or maybe a mistake. Let me go to the palace. Give me some time. Upon them, you have finished me. Upon them, you have killed me. Hey! Upon them, you better come back here with my son, eh? Or I will show you the beast to me. I will so deal with you in this house. Abunama, you better come back here with my hey, Abuka.
I have been thinking for days now about the declaration my daughter made while she was on the throne. What declaration? Are you serious? That you don't remember what she said? Oh, well, uh, she empowered all men in this kingdom to take more than one wife. And I think that is what I am going to do. What did you just say? I said that I will be taking a new wife soon. Why are you like this? I have never seen a king who speaks from both sides of the mouth. You promised me. You promised you would never take another wife. Well, I did. But I changed my mind. Besides, you never, you never gave me a son, did you? Hmm. I'm sure your beloved daughter will be pleased to hear this. Of course she will. She always supports me, unlike her mother. Your Highness, did you see my son, Ebuka? How dare you, Obum? Where is your manners? Uh, 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 sorry, Your Highness. Pardon me, Biko. I was told that my son came here. And uh, uh, Your son is in the palace pit. Palace pit? Is he playing around that place or what? Watch your tone around me, Obum. He's there as a prisoner. What? So he's true? Yeah, he ain't no way you. Yeah? Uh, Guinea call me. Eh? Well, my daughter suspects that he has a hand in the disappearance of her horse. And therefore, he may treat her. My son! Yes. And you believe her? Watch your tone around me, Obum. Are you insane? Are you? Your Highness, we are talking about my son here, a small boy. How can he store a horse? Eh? Your Highness, shake it, me an hand. It's impossible. Obum, I granted my daughter's request and I have no apologies for that. Hey! Eh, Obum, eh, sit down and tell me. A good story. Your Highness, my story has finished. My story has finished. My story, my God. You have disappointed me again, Ekeni. You have disappointed me. <laughs> my Lord, I'm sorry. It was not intentional. You were simply careless. If you had held him, we would have found out who he was working with. Or do you think he was working alone? Do you? No, my lord. Fool. So it has gotten to an extent where my daughter, my precious daughter's life is being threatened. Um, I hope they didn't hurt you. Are you alright? Do I look alright? After almost being killed walking the sands of my father's kingdom. Oh, I will not take this lightly. It is obvious that we have traitors amongst us and we must fish them all out. This young man, is he from our kingdom? No, my lord. He is from Omonkata. Omonkata. Oh, I will crush them. But first of all, I need to have a word with your king. This is no time for dialogue, father. They will pay for this. I want you to start from killing every Umunkata indigene in this land. No, that's insane. You can't justify the shed of innocent blood. She's right. I want you to do a thorough execution of all Umunkata indigenes in this kingdom, especially those who are married into this kingdom and their children. Wipe them all out. My husband. Yes, my lord. This is insane! You talk to your father! Just stay out of this. My life was threatened and we must respond to the traitors. You must have seen you in my house! Allow me! 
Allow me to kill this murderer. Hercules. I've warned you not to stop, step this your foot into my house again. Please, kill him. No. Let him kill me. Jidenna, I said, kill me! Since you don't want to understand that I'm on your side, kill me! I'm a monster, right? I'm a monster, right? Go ahead and kill me! Since you don't find anything good in people, kill me! It's okay, Kene. It's okay. Don't. It's okay. What do you want? People are out. Our father said you're evil. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. They can speak. Let's hear him out, please. The king just decreed that every indigenous of Omunkata and their children be killed. What? Yes. Hey. Hey! <laughs> you see? You see, the fool has nothing meaningful to say. Okay. He has nothing absolutely to say. That's why I wanted to kill him. Okay. You didn't know this is serious. I am very serious. Olana, please, you know the right language to speak to your husband. Make him understand. Make him see reasons to leave this village immediately because his stubbornness and anger is making him blind. Leave my house. Okay. Stop okay. it. Okay. Are you sure? Leave. Okay. Don't yeah, what is tell it? me you believed what that fool just said. What he said is the king. No! looking for a company because the spirit of the people he has murdered are beginning to chase after him and I will not grant him that never of him you heard what he said though he said the king said it's the king that said you know the king you know how that king is of him If we don't know how to really talk the tail of the tiger. What are you saying? Yeah. So it's true. And I put my man. He locked him up at the palace beach. Because that, that monster he has as a daughter said that my son is a traitor. He accused him of He accused one Takiri Ebuka of robbing her. How the possible? Hey! Hey! Did I not warn you about sending my son to that palace? I was trying to get him into power! You have destroyed my son, Abumdeme! <laughs> you have destroyed my son! Abumdeme! You have destroyed my son! You had the guts to come back here without my son! Abumdeme! Hold on! That bag? I'm leaving this palace. Did I hear you right? You're leaving the palace? Yes, you heard me. I am leaving this palace. T to where? To my late parents' house. Where I can find peace of mind. Are you drunk? No. It is you who is drunk in wickedness and bestiality. I want to leave this palace before the gods visit you with their anger. For I know they will show you no mercy, you and your evil daughter. For all the innocent blood you have shed, I am leaving. I'm sorry, I cannot allow you to do that. Meaning? Are you holding me against my will? Will you stop this nonsense? I am your husband.
is hearing voices from my heart. Just allow her to go farther, if that's what she wants. Never! I married her with my heart in money. She is not leaving this palace, ever! You don't own me! Yes, ah. I do. The very moment I paid your bride price to your, your, your wretched parent, I own you. So you will remain in this palace as my wife until I say otherwise. And that is final. Just remember you brought it upon yourself, Obin, please, please, just listen Kim, to me. what is wrong with you? Listen to me. Your brother may be right. Right about what? Who would believe such nonsense? Listen, I know Igwe Itodo is ruthless and wicked, but he has not lost his senses. How would you know? Obim, how would you know what Igwe Itodo is capable of? He has no justification for killing innocent villagers. That story is fake. Okay. Eh, at least, just stay back. Let's think of what to do, or um, at least find out what is going on. Okay, how can we know what is going on if I don't step out? I have told you there is nothing to worry about. That is Ekene's way of coming close to me. I know him very well. Please prepare the children and meet me over at the farm. It's unfair of the king. Go. He shouldn't have done this to his head. What I will do, I will do to Igwe Todo. I can me me. Forget about that one. You know it's not possible. You cannot do anything to him. Eh? Igwe Todo has legions of guards and warriors at his beck and call. And so he may break his. And so you know I cannot sit down and watch. Eh? As I'm talking to you now, my house is on fire. You know the kind of wife I married. Yes, it's true. I know that your wife beats you. But that doesn't mean that you embark on a suicide mission just to save your son. Who said that I'm going alone? That is the reason I've come to meet you. So that you can fool me. Biko, help me. Huh? So you can help me, Biko. Chirigun, what exactly do you want me to do? See. I have catapult that we can use and bring it with to the an end. So you want me to follow you on a suicide mission to the palace, isn't it? You are not going to die. Just follow me to this wall. We we'll use our catapult and bring it with to the an end. We we'll use catapult and kill him or even machete. My and I'm not Jack. I just use my ebb on you. Abum name, abum name. You are married uh -huh. with a son, is it not? Yes. I'm not married. Not to talk of having a son. And you want me to follow you to the palace and die? Where? Oso, 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 oso. Me kwa go neba. I always know you to be a coward. Even your father, they call you Amobi. Where is your Amobi? And I will show you people that I am a son of a tiger. You are my friend. Problem. Mm, I don't want to go to the farm. Why? But you've always enjoyed going to the farm. I didn't sleep very well. Me too, Mama. I had a terrible dream. Okay, it's alright. 
Um, we'll talk about the dream when we come back from the farm. But your father is waiting for us at the farm right now. It's, it's no good for us to keep him waiting. Can we go tomorrow? I have a bad feeling about this. Bad feelings? Yeah. What kind of feelings? Woman! Rich is man, Samadi. Where is your husband? He has gone to the farm. Find him, there is trouble. Trouble? The people of Omunkaba in our village yeah. have been killed. Hey! And includes the ones married here. She may. You have to leave with your children. But my husband is not yet back there. What, what, what will I do? You have to find him. So you people will leave immediately. So, thank you. I told your father. Let's get out. Let's get out. Go inside. Don't move. I understand that your brother is married to an Omonkata woman, is he not? Yes, my lord. Then you must explain to him what must be done. I hope you understand. Yes, my lord. But, but my lord, what about his innocent children? Nobody's innocent. My life was threatened. I am sorry, my princess. Ekene. Ekene. Ekene, I hope you're not going to have problems carrying out your duties on your brother's family. Not at all, my lord. Not at all. Good. I'm sorry about this, but we must send a message to the people of Umukata. No one touches the tail of a tigress and goes scot free. What is it? My lord, the queen is at the back of the hut, trying to commit suicide. You must come with me immediately. Where is my son? Give me some time. I will get him back. Eh? Mikun. That boy is all we have. You allowed that evil king to take him away from us. Obumneme. Give me one good reason. I shouldn't strangle you now. Hi. Give me one good reason. Uh, because I'm your husband. And if you kill me now, who are you going to live with? Uh, because my, 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 my. I give you and that evil king before the end of today. I will go and ask him for my son. If he refuses, hey! I will shock him! Imam, I will shock him! Please, I'm appealing to you. For the sake of your life, do not go to King Itodo. Do not go. Allow me to fight this fight. I fight this war as a man of this family. Eh? If he told he's not somebody, and I'm not he's not going to take his. Eh? I, I, even like that, just use me to do anything he wants to do. No, I want to take him away from him. Obuneme, is it not about Kasiano? Did you just insult me? Eh, eh. Hey, Obuneme, eh, 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 eh. did you just insult me? No, he, eh? he, he, in the Urugu. Did you just insult me, Obuneme? In Urugu. Obuneme, hey, Obuneme. Hey. Hey. So. Is there no way you can talk to the king about this as the head of security? I tried pleading with the king, but he refused. He refused. Now my brother is about to lose his entire family. My position in the palace does not matter to him at all. 
and the king has ordered for their execution. That is bad. It's too bad. So, what are you going to do now? I will try and save them. Yes. It is dangerous. I am worried about your safety. That is why I called you. To let you know what I'm about to do. In case I don't make it. Kenny, you're planning on leaving me. You want to leave me, isn't it? You're planning on leaving me. You know I won't do that. I will not. Uchuma, you know I will not do that. But I can't, I can't fold my hands and watch my brother lose his entire family when I know I can actually do something about it. It is suicidal. You cannot fight an army alone. It is suicidal. It's okay. I love you, Juma. I love you. I want to do this. And I want you to take care of yourself for me. Please. The wicked must surely get what they deserve. I will not rest until Igwe Dodo and the daughter pay for their atrocities. Stay right behind me. I am not here to kill you or kill anybody. I am here to protect you. You have seen what I told you, right? You have seen it. Please, please, Chidena, please. This is no time for this. Please, just listen to him. I pleaded with the king to spare your household, but he refused. He said, as long as you're married to a woman from Omunka, enough! Enough! Again, eh? I do not want my kids to be aware of this. But they have to know. They have to know about it. The war is on. And I'm here to protect you. I can find my way out of the kingdom. The king sent his guards to block the entrance and exit of this kingdom. So no escaping. Hey! Hey! I knew it. Hey, I knew this is the end for me and my children. Stop saying that, Nkem. Stop. I refuse to give up. My family is mine to protect, and I'm ready to die while trying. And nobody is dying. I repeat, nobody is dying. I know a way out. Yes. Though it's so bushy now, but it leads to our neighboring village. Let's follow the route immediately. Okay. Very well then. We have to leave now. Soon the guards will be here.
Let me rephrase the question. Is it true that you're taking another wife? Uh, well, uh, it depends on how you look at it. Uh, yes. So it's true? I need a son. You need a brother. Who you will together rule this kingdom when I am gone? Huh? I do not need a brother. What is wrong with you? What has suddenly come over you? I thought we had an agreement that once you pass on, I'll take over the throne. You've been preparing me for this, Father. I know. But I need a productive wife. Uh, you made a decree the, the, the day you were on the throne. Empowering men in this kingdom to take more than one wife. And I cannot be the one disobeying that decree. I have to take another wife. What is even wrong in taking another wife? Everything is wrong about it. Including the reason behind it. Father, I don't need a brother or anyone that will contest this throne with me. water. Forgive me my princess, but I think water will reduce the heat your, your brain is emitting from whatever is going on there. Get out of my side for I ask for your head! Sorry, my princess. Stay right there. I command you to stay down. I am your leader. You cease to be our head the moment you chose to explore justice. They are my family. They are my family. They are not your family. They are traitors and deserve nothing but death. I am a freeborn of this land. That is my wife yes. and my children. Yes. By the virtue of marriage, she ceased to be an enemy. Okay, no. run! No, no, run with the children! I command you to go back! Run! No, no. Go with the kids! Go! Just close your eyes, close your eyes, close your eyes. Just don't look, don't look. Just go, keep going. Keep going, keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. My auntie. Keep going, just keep going. Go. Oh! Okay, what is it? What's the problem? Mama, I'm tired. I know. Me too. Me too, I'm tired. But we have to keep going, okay? Let's just keep moving. Let's go. Let's wait for Papa. I don't know if he's still alive. Hey, you don't say that! Your father is still alive! Eh? Remember, he's the one that said we should keep going. Let's obey him and just keep going. Please. Mama, I can't move anymore. I need water. <laughs> Because I don't have water to give you now. Let's keep going. We'll get to a river. We'll drink water. The enemies are closed. Let's keep going. Mama, carry me. I can't carry you now. I'm tired as well. Let's go. I tell you, you killed my guard while obstructing justice after everything that I've done for you. I should have known that you are a traitor. I can I picked you up from nothing and made you my head guard, all because of the friendship I had with your late father. Whom you killed, whom you murdered. Oh, you think I don't know? Of course I do. You are responsible for his death, and you are going to pay for it, you beast. I can see your anger. Well, I killed your father because he was disloyal. I killed him because he never saw things from my perspective. I killed him because he was going to stand in my way of becoming the next king. But I guess he, you already know that. Ibuitodo. Spare my brother. 
and punish me for this. Oh, that is exactly what I am going to do. Pick it up and send him to his ancestors. <laughs> you will do it for the very first time! You must be out of your senses! For having believed that I will kill my only brother! My only surviving brother! Never! Never I will do it! Well, I think you should. You know, it is foolishness for both of you to die today, seeing that in your lineage what is left of you is us females. I will never kill my brother. I will never do it! Iguidodo, have you not hurt my family enough? Have you not? Thank you, Chi, that I did not get the opportunity to destroy both you and your evil daughter. Oh. Oh, what a world. You want to destroy me and my daughter when all I have done is offer you friendship and protection. We told you you were never my friend. I have been the one protecting you. I, Atene, have been the one fighting in the evil forest for you. I have also been the one taking the machete cuts and the arrows meant for you. I have been taking them. Even when I know you are responsible for my father's death. We told the one thing kept me going. One thing kept me going! The fact that one day, one day, I will avenge my father's death. I will! And to prove to my brother that I'm on his side. I am on his side. Oh, what an emotion. But I guess it is too late now to switch sides. So why don't you pick up the sword and do exactly as I have commanded? Else, you and your brother will face the same fate. Can I do it? Jidenna, what did you just say? Go ahead and do it. Do it, maybe you'll get to see my family someday and tell them how I had to sacrifice my life for their sake. Jidenna, you don't know this man! You don't know this man! He's so mean! I have served this man for a very long time! He's going to kill both of us! I am certain! Oh, but you are not certain, my chief guard. You are not certain. Can you go ahead and do it? Go ahead and do it, else I will do it myself! I'll be forced to do it myself! Please don't think twice. Do it. Do it! <laughs> do it. I will not do it! I will not! I will not do it! I will not! Go ahead! I will not! Jidenna! 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 I know that you have always been a weakling. A traitor! I know you couldn't do it. Seize him!
are we going from here? We've been walking all day. I don't know. But we just have to keep moving. I took my long going from our village. Yes. But I think there is still danger. Maybe that, that is what your father is fighting, that's keeping him from getting to us. But how is he going to locate us if he's still alive? Hi, I've told you. Your father is still alive, of course. My child, please, do not allow negativity beset your heart. Okay? Your father will get to us and we'll all be together again. Let's just Mom, keep going. Mom, I'm hungry. I'm hungry too. Okay. Let me see if there is a place I can get food for us to eat. Looking at you, it must have been a terrible experience at the pit. I pray for your own sake that you put up good behavior henceforth. I never asked to be released. You can leave me in the pit for as long as you want, Itodo, because I have given up on you already. And so have I. That is why I have decided to take another wife come next day, Kimaket day. You're serious with this madness, isn't it? Oh, yes, I am. Have you told your daughter? Uh, well, I did, but she does not seem to understand that I am doing this for her own good. But um, I'm very certain she will come around. I mean, she is my daughter and she understands her father unlike her mother. I wish you well, Igwe Itodo. I pray the gods to save your soul. Will you shut up? Go and prepare me my meal. And make sure you wash yourself thoroughly before you start. Go! Igwe! Igwe kwe ke kwe ke bu kwa ne gumwa Ase mu kwe ke kwe ke bu kwa ne gumwa Ema no nye na kwa kwe ke kwe ke No uche ye gadi kwa ya mwa kuku ye Ena nu kwa kumu Ase mo nye kwe na nyige kwe tele ya Maka ne kwe kwe ne kwe te nu te kwe ro kwe zyoku Igwe kwe haka na kwa kwa roku Sina ndi banyi sini ibwara ajo Mamu na gi kuna zoe Ema ni kuna kani mu kuna kepe Iga wa minya na meso gi Miga wa kuna songi na zo Mu na gi bu wane na nyi na gano fwaka Na kungi na zuru echi Ase mu na kungi na zuru norye A kungi na zuru neke na fona mkwa Sina ga diri gima igwe todo kamu ne kwoku Kwa muwa jadike, awa kamu na gara gisi na gade rani mwa kwa mwa uka mu ne me inya muzi biwa kamu ne me ne chimonya manamaka na mu ne kuno kwa jadike.
ada di sini. Hey! Hey! Jide di mama. Who be? Who knows how he handled those guards? Who knows if he got overpowered? Who? Who knows if he's still alive? Who knows if he's somewhere now in search of us? Gods of my ancestors, please help me. I've lost my way, and I have no idea of where I'm heading to from here. Hey, how can I explain to my children that I have no idea where we're heading? How can I tell them we're lost in the middle of nowhere? Hey, where do I go from here? Please, my ancestors, protect me and my children. They could do. They go. <laughs> Show me a way out. Point me to the right direction. Please, I beg. <laughs> what is the meaning of this? If you make anyone step closer to me, I will shoot this man. I will kill! Have you? You are the one that have lost your senses by taking my family prisoners! You will join them because of this act of insolence. Hey! That is when I must have killed with this thing! I'm telling you, you know how good I am in shoot! You know how good I shoot! I'm any very straight to your neck now! <laughs> Better see your eye! I will blind your eye with this stone! Seize him! I will get him! I will kill him! Mine! King, I'm your head. I can't treat me like this. Take him away. 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 He's not actually a coward. That is actually a bold step. Hmm. But he has just made himself a fugitive. And nobody leaves this kingdom without my permission. You hear me? Yes, you are. Instantly, if he finds you here, would you know? No, but this is a risk I'm willing to take for the man I love. He can I cannot see you being starved to death. I can't. It's over. The king has won. I refuse to believe that. He has not won. I will get you out of this. I promise. Don't do anything implicating. Don't. Ujumwa. I will get you out of this. Come, please. Ujumwa, come.
Please don't kill us. No, no, hurt us. Please, I beg you. I beg you. Jill, Jill. Are you not Jidina's wife? Yes, yes, I am. Do, do, do you know me? Of course. You are from Umunkata village. Yes, yes. I remember the day Jidina got married to you. What, what are you doing in this forest with your children? We are in danger. Our lives are in danger. We lost our way. Why are trying to find our way? Uh, we are leaving the kingdom, running away from our land. Running away? Yes. Why? What happened? This is a long story. Please, we are hungry and thirsty. Can you help us, please? please. That, that's not a problem. Okay, you, you come with me. Let, let me help you with a little bit. Don't worry, don't worry. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, don't worry. Yes. Let's go. Let's go. Come with, come with me. Let's go. I hope you enjoy this. Yes. Thank you very much. You're really a lifesaver. That I am alive today. It's because of your husband's brother, Ekene. I... I wanted to ask him, why did you live here, away from the land? I was sentenced to death by the king. Hey! Yes, but Ekene saved me by sneaking me out of the village. I actually escaped the execution because of Ekene. And that is why I am doing this. For the love he showed me. I see. I'm happy you are alive. Our story is the same as yours. That mad king almost lost his daughter to an assassin. Which they claim is from Umunkata. And he decreed that all Umunkata indigents in our kingdom be killed. What? Yes. He's indeed a mad king. Huh. That man and his daughter have the blood of so many innocent people in their hands. Yet they keep going about as if it's nothing. Thanks to the gods, you escaped with your lives. So many people have died. So many people are dead. I lost my husband on our way out of the kingdom. Why he was trying to protect us. Hmm. I don't even know if he's still alive. <sighs> Obudu used to be a very, very peaceful kingdom. That's before we, we brought into power a beast for a king. Hmm. Do, do you live here with your family? Uh, yes, with my wife. She went to the farm and will soon be back. But I, I do not have any child of my own yet. Well, may the gods bless you with plenty. He said. <laughs> you are welcome to my palace, my manager. Here you will be treated as the beautiful and tender queen you will soon become. So I want you to make yourself at home. Hmm? Thank you, Your Highness. <laughs> no, it is not Your Highness. Call me my husband. For in two days' time, it will be official that you are Dana, who is my wife and the mother of my unborn children. <laughs> I can't wait to give you everything, my king, and my husband. <laughs> Ah. By queen. My uh, uh, dear first wife. Uh, here is um, Adana, the one I told you about that will, that I'm going to take in the next two days as my wife. It's so nice to meet you, my queen. And co-wife. <laughs> Do not pay her attention, eh? Sometimes she has a way of looking down on people and uh, uh, misbehaving. And I think today is one of those days, eh? I hope I have a blessing, my husband. Because I'm scared. 
Ah, uh, you don't need to be scared. You are getting married to me. So once I marry you into this palace, let your focus be on me. And I will protect you with everything that I have. Hmm? Uh -huh. to like you? <laughs> I am the king. Thank you, my husband. <laughs> <laughs> Make her stay on palate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Why are people following me about? Huh? I've told you that I don't know where Obum is. Please. But he's your friend. He's my friend, yes. But that doesn't mean I know where he is. Eh? At least I've taken you to my house and you saw that he's not in my house. Please leave me. We suspect he knows where he is. And we've just had his whereabouts. So, you want me to admit to what I don't know? Okay? You want me to admit to what I don't know? You want the king to punish me for what I don't know? Why are you hiding his whereabouts? Do you know the king placed a bounty on his head? Do you? Bounty? Which bounty? <laughs> Say a lie. Why didn't the king capture him when he was at the palace? Eh? Why wait for him to escape before he placed bounty on his head? I don't believe both of you. You are liars. You want to deceive me. You can start telling us now and become strikingly rich. Bounty. How could you have brought in trouble for us? What do you mean, my wife? Don't you know that whoever that is chasing them could locate them here and we are all dead? My beautiful wife, what would you help me do? Abandon them in the bush where I found them? But it's not fair. This is an innocent woman with her children seeking for refuge. Remember, we were once in that situation not quite long ago before someone from this same village helped us out. I know. Then let's extend the same kindness to them. They are not here to stay forever. Hmm? Ne. Besides, they cannot not even go back to Obudu village. The king wants them dead there. So pick up them. Embrace them. Welcome them as your own. They don't look troublesome to me in any way. Nay, I'm not saying they are troublesome. I'm worried about our safety. We have been staying here for several market days now. And I want it to remain the way it is. I understand, my beautiful wife. Hmm? But you should be thankful and grateful to the gods that they are here. Imagine the pain you would have been going through from that scorpion bite. Amobi, are, are, you, are you sure of this person? Um, I am not so sure. But I think he's the best person that can sneak you out of this village without being killed. But. I, I don't think that leaving my family behind is the right thing for me to do now. Save your head first before coming for your family. Eh? See, let me tell you, the king placed a bounty on you on your head, which means you are a working corpse. So the best thing I can do for you now is to sneak you out of this village without being killed as my friend. I see, I'm Bobby. I really appreciate your help. But, see, I prefer hiding around this village than leaving the village entirely. I can't risk leaving my family behind. I have to do something to save them. You don't want to listen to me, Akwea? Eh? Obum, your stubbornness will get you killed. Though. Follow me. Let's use this way. And you will sneak out from this village. I can't. You can't? Eh? Oh, oh. Oh. Hey! I'm worried, what is this? I'm worried. I'm worried. Hey, I'm worried. I'm worried. I thought we are friends. You did this to me. Yes, we are friends. But you see, eh? 
the king placed a lot of money on your head. And you know I can't resist it. You know I like money. I like it. See, don't, don't worry, you're my friend there. Eh? I'll use part of that money to take care of your wife and your son. If, a, if at all they will escape execution. Hey! Hmm? Uh, I'm Amobi. It can never be well with you. I'm Amobi, I've worked through me, I've got to I'm Amobi. We can talk. I mean, we can talk. Please, we can talk. I'm Amobi, can never be well with you. We are leaving. Thank you very much for your hospitality. May the gods repay you. Leaving? Yes. Why leave? You clearly have no place to go from here. We will find our way. The gods will direct us. Please, just slow down. You can't just leave like that. But you don't like us here. Okay, we'll keep quiet. I appreciate your efforts and it's obvious that you overheard our conversation. My husband was trying to explain to me. When we first got in here, we are scared, but we encourage each other stayed. I was just scared of whatever that is after your life. Yes, Olana. Do not get my wife misunderstood. She is only doing what most women will do. She is a good woman. She is not a bad person, but she she's only been too careful sometimes. Please, Olana. Just listen to them. We really have no place to go from here. Mm -hmm. Please. Okay. I promise we will not cause you and your wife any trouble. We're from a peaceful and good home. Just condition that brought us here. Hey, the same way condition brought us here too. Please don't go. Nobody's chasing you. Please. Okay. Come, let's go inside. Thank you. Just go back inside. I was actually going out to arrange something that you people will eat today. This about your taste. It means the maiden knows how to cook. Hmm? Don't you think it would be a good idea if I take her as my wife? It is a very nice decision, father. Mm -hmm. But the problem is, her heart actually belongs to another man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I don't care. Mm. If I want her as my wife, her heart will now belong to me. Hmm? I mean, who in this village, or even in the next, can stop me from getting whatever I want? Actually, nobody except death. Hmm? You are correct. But you see, death will come when it will come. And it's definitely not now. Hmm? Mm, nobody knows when death comes. You know, this certain maid prepared this abacha specifically under <clears> the <throat> command of the man after her heart, <clears throat> whom you currently hold prisoner. And me? What do you mean by <clears throat> and me? You know, she also did it under my command. I had to sort friendship with the enemy of my enemy. <clears throat> my precious. But I am not your... <clears throat> I am not your enemy. Oh yes, you became my enemy the very day you decided to usurp my position as the sole heir to your throne by seeking a woman who will give you a son. <clears throat>
Igwe Todo. How do you feel? Igwe Todo, the Atanatos King, the undefeated warrior. Igwe Ngwangu, how do you feel seeing justice served to you? How? Uju saw everything. She told me everything that happened in the dark. Igwe Todo. I accepted working in this palace in the first place, hoping for a day like this to come, and I'm glad it came. Leave me alone, Igwe Todo. Leave me alone. My joy is incomplete because my brother Jidenna is not here to witness this. But I'm sure he is waiting for you alongside my father in the land of the dead. Can I finish show with you, come for? Can I make time come for you? How does it feel? I do not understand. Now that you have succeeded in killing your father, are you complacent? I do not understand, mother. I was shocked as you were when I saw his corpse. Lie. Lie and you will choke on that lie. You are such a liar. You would have allowed the gods take vengeance on him. Now you have tripled your cause. Mother, I do not like this. I do not. I did not kill father, so why shout him? Will you shut up? How dare you raise your voice in my presence? Mother, you, you slap me. I will slap you again if you don't keep quiet. You insolent thing. You think your father is still alive? So, it's because my father is no longer alive. You had the right to slap me, mother. Hey, hold it right. If you move an inch out of my presence, I will so deal with you. Nonsense. The king may be dead, but I, the queen, am still alive. Which makes me the interim leader. So you shut up like the child you are and get back to your hearts. Now! All hope was lost. My husband, who was my source of encouragement, lost faith in the gods. He pleaded with me to get rid of the pregnancy. But I disagreed. Then I went to the shrine and made a promise to the gods that if they allow me to give birth safely, my child will serve them. And I was delivered of Ogechi to everyone's amazement. 
So you are saying your daughter is of the gods? From all the wonders manifesting in her life right now, I no longer have doubts that she's special. But mama, I'm special to you, isn't it? Of course, my child. You are special too, just like your sister. And I love you both. So much. We are so blessed indeed to have you and your children. But what do you think doing with her new talent? I... I don't know for now. But I believe the gods will direct us on the best approach to take. Rejoice, for we now have a healer amongst us. Yes, dear. Such a rare gift for a young child. I guess we'll have to go tell the people of this village of her powers. Yes. Who knows? She might turn out to be a lifesaver to the people of this village. <laughs> Yes, you're right. and there's something I would like you to do for me. And what is that? My mother has proven a stumbling block towards my getting to the throne. So, I want her dealt with. And you think I would do that? Of course. I helped you to kill my father and I expect you to serve me as usual at my pleasure. Oh, really? not snuffed life out of you is because of your mother. She does not deserve to be childless now. If not, death is what a little imp like you deserve for the atrocities you have committed. What? Yes. God! God! You're calling them to do what? To have my head. There you go wrong, my dear. As you can see, the only authority in this palace after your father's demise is your mother. So you are nothing but a spoiled little brat. You will regret this. You will regret this! Pa! Sheba Poor. Has the queen said anything to you after her husband's death? No. Why did you ask? Is it not strange that she hasn't said a word? Oh, don't you know she's aware we killed her husband? The husband got what he deserved from us. If she has a problem with that, I don't really care. I am scared. I think we should run away from this village, you know, run away from the palace, go somewhere else, settle down there and raise our children. Ujunwa, it seems you have forgotten that I am still the chaired security in this palace. But you cannot remain that after playing an accessory to the king's murder. Says who? Says who? Listen, Ojunwa, we have to remain in this palace and enjoy royalty. The only thing on my mind right now is how to locate my late brother's wife and children and tell them what happened. Um, but what about the princess? Oh, that one. She's just gallivanting around the palace like every other commoner. Especially now that the mother is in charge. 
You know they were never best of friends. You have nothing to worry about. And I suggest until the queen speaks to us. We just have to continue our normal duty in the palace. Hmm? You know how much I love you, right? Sure. I love you too and I don't want anything to happen to us. Nothing will happen to us. I'll always be there to protect you. Thank you, my elders, for appointing me as your interim leader. I want to use this opportunity to apologize to each and every one of you who have been hurt by my late husband, the king. I can feel the bitterness in your hearts and how you wish to take your revenge on me. Your Majesty, I am sorry to intrude. But our umbrage is on your daughter. Of course! Your daughter! I understand. And I'm deeply sorry about that. She deserves every punishment that you deem fit for her. But she's just a child. A child who was carried away by the guidance of an evil father. Please, I apologize on her behalf. Just give her another chance to make amends. Please, uh, Bikon. <clears throat> well, we, uh, we've heard you, our queen. And we thank the gods that um, you're different from your husband. And he did not influence you negatively. But we are hot, just like you said. But we are willing to forgive. Of course, because of your good act of leadership. It's a new dawn for Buddha Kingdom. Of course, it's a new dawn. Thank you all, my elders. I want to promise you all that henceforth, things will start getting better in this kingdom. And my first demonstration of an act of good leadership, if I am correct, is to return all that my late husband stole from all of you. Except lives, of course, with immediate effect. I know some of you deserve to be incarcerated for your several offenses while some of you are innocent. But as your new leader, I have decided to set you all free. Hey, thank you, my queen. With the promise that henceforth, you will live a modest and honest life. Ah. Hey, thank you, my queen. For I have always known that you are going to make a difference as a leader. We are very, very grateful. Uh, uh, please, my queen, when am I resuming to this? Your duty in this palace was with the late king. And now that he is no more, I don't think your services are required anymore. Thank you, my queen, for that honest answer. We are so grateful. Thank you so much. Let's go. Thank you, my queen.
so. Why are you sitting here all alone and sad? Mama, why am I not special? I don't understand. Why don't I have powers like Ogechi? You've seen what she can do. Why can't I do the same? Is that why you're sitting here all alone and sad? Of course, I'm not happy about that. Oh, my child. You see, what your sister has is a gift from the gods, which they just made manifest. Because that's the purpose she was created. We all have a purpose why we're created. What is my purpose? Why was I created by the gods? Soon, my child. Soon, yours will be made manifest. The gods will reveal to you why you are created. Maybe when you've gotten to Ogechi's age. It's left for the gods to decide. But all I want you to do is be happy for your sister. For whatever belongs to your sister is equally yours. Okay. Now look at me. Smile. <laughs> Let's go inside the grave. Once upon a time. Gods of our land, what is really going on? Does it mean I've lost respect and regard in this palace? A palace I'm supposed to be in charge of by now, if not for my impish mother who took everything from me. Why would mere guards and maidens no longer tremble at my presence and ready to obey my command? This is not fair. This is so not fair for a princess to be treated this way. I have to do something about it. Here comes the Ajonwa. Ajonwa, Ajonwa. See you. Ajonwa. upon a time in the kingdom of Obudu who are the people who are you your nemesis your nemesis your nemesis Hurry up, Uju. We have to go now before the rain meets us here. Well, how are you sure we're going to meet them at Ifite? I am sure. My source is authentic. Mother Buchi cannot tell me what he did not see. He told me emphatically that he saw my late brother's wife and children buying something from the Ike market. Should we go straight into the IK market? Just go there and search for them. Nobody lives in the market, would you? Like my source said, he saw them buying something from the market. I'm just considering how we're going to locate them. That's what I'm thinking about. Don't bother yourself till we get to Ifite. Remember, the excreta does not smell in the stomach. So keep that thought to yourself. We have to leave now. Okay. Let's go. Ah! What? Uju! 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 What is wrong with you? Uju! Uju! Ah! Ah! My hand! Uju! We fought till they overpowered us and took us to the palace where the king ordered me to shoot my own brother. 
I couldn't. Then he ordered the guard to shoot my brother. Hey. And that hey. was how I lost him. Hey! Hey! He did Ikene, you were supposed to protect him. You promised to protect my husband, Ikene. Olamna, oh, I tried. I tried, but I was sentenced for execution and thrown into the palace pit. That was where I planned and had the king killed. Yes, I planned and had him poisoned. What about his evil daughter? I'm sure the Igwe is dead to stop the tyranny and unjust killing of our people. Did it? It did, Alana. The queen took over and started remedying all that the king destroyed. The princess was left powerless and useless, gallivanting round the palace. How can she make fights for the husband destroyed? She's trying her best, for there is no replacement for life. Ikene, why did it take you so long to come for us? Why? You abandoned me and my children to die. Olana, I swear by the gods, I have not rested since I escaped execution in the palace. I have been running helter-skelter, looking for you and the children. Until recently, I was told I could find you here. I've been hearing of the great healer in this land. Little did I know that it's my brother's daughter, Ogechi. What my husband's body? Have you been buried? Yes. I saved his body from being burnt alongside others and I buried him. Why were you sick when you came here? What happened to you? I was getting to that, Ogechi. A few days ago, the gods brought calamity and anger upon our people with a plague that affected the princess and some of our people, including the woman my heart beats for, Ogechi, I need your help. We need your help. Our people need your help. Listen to me. There's nothing to listen to. Look, I appreciate your help towards me and my children. But I cannot grant this your request. Olana, please. There's no point pleading with me. Look, my husband was gruesomely murdered by these same people you want my daughter to go and see. We had plans of raising our children together. Now look at me. I'm a helpless widow. Olana, I understand how you have to know that this is the handwork of a wicked king and not the subject. Then why are you advocating for the life of his evil daughter? Why do you want her to be saved too? See, the princess committed a lot of evil. I agree. But she's taking the repercussions right now. The princess is only but a child who was misled by her evil father. Please, Olana, the subjects have done you nothing wrong. They are only victims of circumstance. Please, do have mercy on them. And listen to your child, Ogechi. She is willing to go there and help them heal the land. If only you will agree to take her there. Remember, you were the one that even said she is doing the work of the gods. <laughs> Maybe this is the exact purpose why the gods have given her that power. Nay, people forgive them. We don't have to pay evil with evil. Please. Because then, uh... My dear, I was told you have begun healing before getting to this palace. It shows the 
hearts of gold you and your mother possess. I know you must be very angry and seeking revenge over what was done to you and your husband. And I don't blame you if you decide to take your revenge on my daughter, who lies here helpless at the corpse of death. But please, look at me with pity a fellow mother and forgive her. I know this may be difficult for you to do, but please, she's all I have. I don't want to be childless. Please, be cool. It's all right, my queen. I, I won't be here if I have not forgiven her. I'm glad I survived with my children. Hoping to join my husband but the will of the gods prevailed over his life. I will just hold on to my children. And I want you to do the same to yours. My dear child, I'll get you. The princess needs to be healed. Go ahead. is going to remain? My queen, this is how her hand will remain. And it will be a constant reminder of how she has angered the ghosts. I'm all right, my mother. The pain is gone. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'm sorry for what happened to your husband. I could have stopped my father from killing him, but I couldn't. For I allowed evil and darkness to engulf my pain. I'm sorry. It's okay, child. It's okay. I'm sorry. It's alright. Sorry, brother. I know I'm not worthy to be your daughter, but please forgive me. That's all. That's all. Thank you. I will go and tell the town crier to remind the remaining villagers who are still sick to come straight to the palace for their healing. Please do. Please do. The gods have been finally appeased. And this marks the end of the pestilence they visited us with. We now have a powerful healer amongst us who happens to be the daughter of late Jidenna and his beautiful wife here. We all owe our lives to them. And I want to seize this opportunity to announce to you all that henceforth this palace will take care of Olana's needs and that of her children. Again, I will make sure that a befitting burial is given to her late husband and a proper apology made to their family for the unjust killing of their son. This marks a new dawn for our people. And I'm grateful to the gods for sparing my daughter, whom I'll call upon to speak to you all. 
Oh, that's awful, but I'm sorry. I know I don't deserve your forgiveness for the atrocities I've committed. And I don't even know why the court spared me. What I believe is to make things right. And I want to start with this apology. I know it's going to be difficult, but please, find it in your heart to forgive me. Please, I beg of you. We shall forgive you. But on one condition. You have to put on a torn cloth. Pour ashes all over your body. Then, you parade yourself around the entire community and beg for forgiveness. That is our tradition. Yes, you are right. Yes, my elders. Well, she's, she's just a child. I'll do that, mother. If that is what it takes to make amends for what I've done, I'll do it. Okay, my child, it's okay. It's okay. I now have friends that I can call sisters from today onwards. Ogechi and Nkiri. Need I remind you that the new healer is with a child with so much power that I've never been seen in ages. My queen, if you would allow me to take this child to a place where her powers will be harnessed and put to the greater good of our people and the entire kingdom. Her mother is here. You can explain everything to her. And if she's okay with it, then you can take the little girl to anywhere you want her to be. Thank you very much, my queen. Thank you. Once upon a time in the kingdom of Obudu, where the people. 